Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Headhunter D here, uh, bringing you a Transformers review, and I'm going to start doing a shout out for local places. The first one we'll start with is Bender's Comics in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, that's where I get most of my old school <clears throat> G1 figures and whatnot from. Not necessarily G1, but they have a lot of old figures. Um, he buys, sells, and trades figures. Um, the guy's name is Dave. He's the comic owner and he's a really nice guy. So anybody in the area of Hampton Roads who's watching my videos, check out Bender's Comics. So let's get to the uh, the review. Uh, this is Transformers Dark of the Moon uh, Cyberverse Commander Series Power Glide. It's kind of a mouthful but it's really cool. This figure is effing awesome. I really like him. He is so cool um, for his size. He's got a lot of different characteristics to him that I like. One is actually uh, the fact that he did keep his G1 look to him as being an A10 Thunderbolt. As you can see, he's still very accurate as being a Thunderbolt. There's no add-on, you know, crap to it to make him look anything different. One thing about him I don't like is the fact that when you put him on his landing gears, he falls back. Don't know why. Maybe they should put him back farther. I, 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 I don't know. Whatever. But as cool as he is, that's a minor problem. Anyways... Uh, down to the transformation. Um, Power Glide's a really cool figure. One thing about it, too, is that, as you can see, he doesn't have folding landing gears. For his size, he's just, you know, this, this starts with really cool features and stuff. It's just really kind of cool. Um, but, uh, you know, he's just kind of cool. Now, the one thing about it is that he does have a, this, uh, like, silver and red. And this red is, like, a really dark red, almost like a, not like a plum, but, like, I don't know, like, just like a dark red, and then, you know, because his original G1 color was his lighter red, so they kind of toned down the color a little bit, but it gave him, like, a little more of a, a heroic look, in my opinion, um, I don't know, but, anyways, he's, he's still pretty cool, um, but, uh, down transformation, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to take off these, uh, missile pods right here, they're tabbed in, and then there's a, like, a peg that goes into his arm module here, so you just pop them off, like that, and just take them off, um, the peg is actually right there. Um, let me see a little better right there. And we'll set this to the side. And do the same for this one. Just want to pop it off. Pull it out. And there's the hole where the peg goes in. And then first thing you want to do, well, this is what I do. Um, instructions are a little more different, but this is what I do. Just take the bot. I just take the legs and pull them out. And then I take the arms and I separate them right here. It's basically pretty much the seams turn them around and go ahead and plug them in. Now there is a hole right here as you can see it's that little silver piece and then there's a peg on the side of his fuselage right there that you just peg that in with like that. Do the same for this one. Again there's that peg and that hole like that. Yeah, they don't really like they don't like snap in or peg in or anything they just kind of sit there. I guess it just kind of holds it from shifting left and right or uh, front and forward whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, it does it does hold pretty well because he's got really stiff joints. So and to do his arms, um, flip them over. There is a peg here on his wing, as you can see right there. And then there's a hole, um, a little slit hole right there on the side that basically plugs into it. So it's pretty cool. And see, and his things already come off. Um, so you want to pull this out. It's his arms. Fold them around so and then in order to do the hands you want to pull this little tab here and it pulls the hands out like that okay oh and that's the other thing there's a little tiny same thing with like this with these tabs on the side of the fuselage there's a little tiny tab but I, I, I guess it's like a holding tab, not really like a locking tab, it just kind of holds everything there. But basically you just take his crotch area and you just push it up and I guess it just kind of holds in that area, I don't know. But in order to do his feet, it's really simple, all you gotta do is just take your fingernail right here. Now you can either grab it like this and pull it out, I'm gonna show you on both. Take your fingernail like this and pull it out and that's what pushes basically pull out his uh, his leg. Or as you saw on the other one, you can just tilt, take this back flat panel right here of his wing like that. It's just basically just prop it over and it gives you his uh his look last but not least you reveal his head and boom there is power glide let me see we'll show me a good picture no it doesn't but he's got a really cool head he's kind of has like a bunched up face i don't know it's kind of cool 
Um, he's a pretty awesome figure. I'll get to the weapon in a second, but I'm going to show you all his different articulation. This guy is just... He kind of reminds me, actually, of... Um, of uh, Skystalker. Skystalker, as you all remember, um, if you know, I'll watch my video on it. He transformed into this... Um, uh, stealth jet thing, like UAV or whatever, and when you transform him in the jet version, he looks really, really good, and when you transform him in robot mode, you're like, where does he fold up into? And it just, that's kind of how Power Glide is to me. Um, just, you really just don't notice a lot of the stuff when he's actually in alt mode, which is kind of cool, but, um, he's got a, a ball joint here at his hip, um, right here. He's got a ball joint actually right here that actually can make him turn and whatnot on oh, his knees, which is really cool. He's got a ball joint here in his shoulder. He's got a swivel joint right here in his sh other part of the shoulder. Um, and he's, of course, he's got a, a regular joint right here in his uh, elbow. I thought the fact that you can actually can turn his hands in, but that's just kind of part of the function of taking his hands out. Um, these things are really cool. You actually can kind of double these as a shield or maybe like a blade or something if you wanted to do that. Put him in a maneuver where he was just kind of using these, you know, as blades or something or shields or what have you. Um, I have a suppose I put him in that I'll show you in a second um, head doesn't move unfortunately just kind of does that open down thing um, and that's about it I mean there's no more extra stuff that he does I mean his toes move but they don't really lock in um, until you pull them all the way out so they don't really I wouldn't consider that actually a joint um, but he's he's pretty solid though he doesn't really want to tip over that much which is really cool um, the best thing about him is his weapon is kind of unique um, you actually combine the missiles together what you got to do is you got to take this big missile right here on the side of this one, it's like a cluster of three and then this big one, which when you fold it turns into a cluster of four, and you just fold it over like this, and it makes it a cluster of four like that, and then you take this one here, which is that one rocket laser thing, whatever that is, and the two missiles, and you just fold it like this into a T. And you take the smaller, the four cluster, you put it on the bottom like this, you put it through the hole, well, actually... Post, hole, okay. I'm gonna square that up for you a little bit. <laughs> All right, so you put that in like this, and that becomes his gun. Now, in the back of the package, it shows him holding it like this. Um, it shows him holding like that, and to me, it looks kind of dumb, in my opinion. I don't really like that. Uh, so I always put it the other way around where it's like this. Um, that's just how I like it, in my opinion. Um, but, uh, and then I, of course, keep this out as like a shield. He's got his gun in the shield like that, sort of, kind of, in a sense. But, uh, he's a pretty awesome figure. I really like him. I like the way he looks. I like everything about him. I like the color of him. Um, I like how easy he is to transform. Uh, and I just like power glides. I like jets, as you all know. Um, that's kind of person I am. So, I don't know. Anyways, um, yep, this is uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon, uh, Cyberverse Commander Power Glide, and I will be back for another review soon. I just picked up uh, Skyhammer and uh, Shockwave, so I'm going to try and do those next. So, again, check out Bender's Comics. They're awesome. If you like Transformers, go to Bender's Comics. But anyways, this is Jonathan Shanks, um, Headhunter D, signing off.